This lesson will go over the second objective of practice test C, looking at a combined gas law. So PV over T equal PV over T. All three variables put into the same equation. I'll do a read through for number one. Just a quick read through. It says we have 189 kPa, so there's our first pressure. Um, so 189 is P1, 170 Celsius is T1, and it occupies a container with an initial volume of 15 liters, that's V1. We're going to change the volume, and of course the pressure will adjust, increase to 7.5 atmospheres. Oh, I notice ATM on one side, KPA, so a little adjustment there, no worries. And the temperature is raised to 320, we're going to pull out for V2. Alrighty, so let me get my work set up here. So objective number two, practice test C. So you're working on a round two opportunity. P1, V1 over T1 is PV over T for the second set of conditions. Question one, I'm just going to assign the variables as we had read through them. Uh, first pressure was given as 189, and that was a KPA. First temperature I see was a uh, 170, but uh, of course we have to add 273 before we can plunk it in. And the initial volume given here was 15 liters. Let's go ahead and tabulate for the second set of conditions. By changing the volume, the pressure of the gas increased to 7.5 atms. And the temperature was raised to 320 Celsius. We're going to adjust for the new volume. So again, we're just quickly going to notice that there's a KP on one side, atmosphere on the other. So of course we understand that we'd need like units in order for the algebra to work. So here we have 7.5 atmospheres. We're just going to use the standard value of 101.3 kPa for every 1 atm. Remember that it absolutely doesn't matter if we change this guy into an atmosphere. We just need to use like units before we can put it into the algebra. 7.5 times 101.3 and that's 759.75 kilopascal. So quite a big pressure change. Let's plug this into our formula called the combined gas law. First pressure 189 kilopascals. First volume 15 liters. First temperature is 170 plus 273 is 443 Kelvin units. Pressure drastically went up, 759.75 kPa's. Notice now we have like units. Looking for that new volume and temperature, 320 plus the 273 Kelvin is 593 Kelvin units. P1 V1 over T1 set equal to PV over T for set 2 pulling out for V2. So the algebra cross multiply the side without the variable first. So key sequence hit it with me 189 times 15 times 593 Divided by, and here's a quick thing, make sure we're using this big parenthesis. Divided by, parenthesis, 759.75 times 443. Close your parenthesis equal 4.995 if you want to round. Let's see, put a liter in so a liter comes out. out. Problem one. Again, stop and process as you need to. Start the video again when ready. We have a 2 liter air sample at a temperature it's quite cold, negative 50 Celsius. Pressure is 1.75 atmospheres. We're going to solve for the new pressure. Temperature is raised to 50 Celsius, volume expanded to 5 liters. Let's go and assign some variables. So problem two, two liters, that first number, it looks like a volume number to me, V1 equal two liters. T1 is negative 50 Celsius, we'll need to convert that to Kelvin before we use it, and P1 is one and one and three quarters, 1 1.75 atmospheres. What's the new pressure? So P2 is the target variable. 
Temperatures raise to 50 Celsius, so T2 is 50, but I got to add 273 to get that to Kelvin. And that volume was expanded to 5 liters. Let's plunk them in. P1, 1.75 ATMs. V1, 2 liters. T1, well, 273 minus 150 is 123 Kelvin units. Is that equal to? Now look at P2 is our target. P2, since we put in an atmosphere, we'll get out an atmosphere, and that's going to be fine because it doesn't tell us otherwise. We get to select the unit. Might as well pick the unit that matches. The V2 is 5 liters, and the new Kelvin temperature is 50 plus 273, which is what, 323 Kelvin units. Hitting for P2, start on the side without the variable. So here's the key sequence, 1.75 times 2 times, oh, I have a calculator error, sorry, 1.75 times 2 times, here it is, 323, divided by, and remember, we have to put this parenthesis around this cross multiply, so parenthesis, 5 times 123. 1.75 times 2 times 323 divided by parenthesis 123 times 5. And that'll pull out P2 for us. And I had to insert my parenthesis. How about 1.84? Did I give you enough time to get there? I hope we match our answers. 1.84 ATMs. What's next? Given mass is occupying a 5 liter 745 mmHg and the temperature. So bam, first sentence gives us V1, here's P1, here's T1. Let's solve for the new temperature. Come back to us in a Celsius. If the gas is allowed to expand to 25, pressure drop to 0.55 atmospheres. All right, no worries. We, I just noticed we have a mmHg and an atmosphere, so we'll, we'll fix that when we get our problem set up. Let me go ahead and record some of the information provided here. So here's problem number three. I'll extend the page for us, give us room. Uh, first number I see is a volume, so there's five liters. First pressure number I'm seeing is 745 mmHgs. And the temperature is 25, but again, I got to add 273 to convert to a Kelvin. Let's keep reading the next sentence. What is the new temperature? So here is the target variable, T2. We allow the volume to expand to 25 liters, and that pressure dropped to 0.55 atmospheres. All right, so just as we noted, MMHG on this side, atmospheres on this side. Probably easiest just to convert simply because I can multiply 0 0.55 by 760. And now we'll have two like units. That's what? Uh, that's 418. And now everything else with this guy will come out in a Kelvin. We can subtract out the 273. So remember, this must go in as a Kelvin. Even though it wants Celsius back, I always have to do the algebra in the Kelvin unit. Otherwise, it wouldn't get us the correct answer. Let's get our parentheses ready, as I always like to do. PV over T is equal to PV over T. Let's plunk in the numbers as we have them. First pressure, 745. Include your unit, MMHG. First volume is 5 liters. And that's uh, 298 Kelvin units. Pressure corrected to the same unit was 418 millimeter mercury. Volume expanded quite a bit, 25 liters. Let's pull out T2. Now this is a little different than the first two examples because now all of a sudden T2, which is our target variable, the side that contains the variable, here, here is that generally the way we always have started, 
But keep in mind, we always cross multiply the side that does not have the variable first. So the first pattern is going to bring me this direction. So key sequence, hit it with me. 25 times 418 times 298 divided by parentheses 745 times 5. Close parentheses. T2 is coming out as 836. Remember that that's Calvin. Let's get rid of that 273 we had to add to get our final answer in a Celsius. And that ends up to be 563 Celsius degrees. What's next? Number four, a gas was collected over water. Ding, 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 bells go off. This is an unusual problem. Collecting a gas over water means we have wet gas. So do you have this tool page ready? Question four and five will require this tool. It's called the water vapor pressure chart. Gotta have it. Soon as I read, gas collected over water, gas collected over water, whip out your water chart, my friends. We're gonna need a little uh, subtraction problem. Total pressure of the gas, 2.1 atmospheres. Temperature of the water given, 23 Celsius and 150 mLs. We want to adjust the volume to dry standard conditions. Dry, wet. So that's where the little subtraction comes in. I'm going to go back and just start recording some of these numbers so we have them handy. So here's problem four. Gas collected over water, following data obtained. Total pressure of my system, total pressure, let me give you just a little bit of Dalton's Law review. Total pressure is coming from two individual gases. One of them is water vapor, and the other is this, this partial pressure of the gas we're trying to solve for. Total pressure is 2.1 atmospheres. Temperature of the, of the water uh, is 23 degrees Celsius. And the volume is 150 mLs. Now we want to know the new volume when we're at STP. So standard pressure, standard temperature, those three little letters really do give us numbers, don't they? Standard temperature, 273. Standard pressure is an atmosphere, is one. Well, here's the scoop. This value cannot be used in the combined gas law just yet. It's the total pressure. This is the pressure we want to use for the PV over T. So this is where the little subtraction comes in. I've got to take the water pressure away from or take it right out of this total pressure of 2.1. And that's where the water chart comes in. And I remember, if I just remember looking at this um, water chart, there is no column for atmospheres. Uh, and it's just the way the chart worked out. We have MMHGs, we have a KPA. So let's take a peek. Our temperature was 23 Celsius, which puts me up here. Um, here we have 21.1 MMHGs or 2.81 KPA. What we have to do is convert either one of these into an atmosphere so we can subtract like numbers. So I'll just pick this one, 21.1 MMHGs, 21.1 MMHG, 21.1. And I want to just quickly convert that into an atmosphere so that I can subtract out like units. And yes, I hear some of you saying, couldn't I just convert this into an MMHG? Well, absolutely. It doesn't matter. We just have to subtract like units. So I'm going to choose to convert from my chart 21.1 divided by 760 gives me a value of 0.02776 atmospheres. And now that's the partial pressure of water. It's just in a like unit now to the total pressure that was given. P total of 2.1 subtract the value we just converted. So here's P total minus the O2776 gives us the pressure of the dry gas. 2.5 minus my previous answer and then I'm getting 2.472 atmospheres. I do a subtraction, now it's just a plug and chug into the combined gas law. 
the adjusted pressure for the dry gas, 2.472 atmospheres. The volume, 150 mLs. Temperature, 296, so I was adding 296 Kelvin. New pressure, standard value in a like unit. I have like units, we're set there. Standard temp, 273. Let's pull out the standard value for volume at standard conditions. So here we have cross multiply the side without the variable first, so key sequence, 2.477, 2.472, let me clear my screen, 2.472 times 150 times 273. Divided by parenthesis, 1 times 296, And giving you a minute to hit, hit it for a V2 is 341.99. Let's see, put a milli in, we get a milli out. Your answer will be extremely close, 342. No matter what you put in for your pressure units, subtract the like units first. Make sure you put the correct standard value over here so that you have like units. Number five will be very similar going to be of gas collected over water. Let's take a peek. Following data was obtained by gas collecting over water. Water chart, water chart, gas collected over water. We have an atmospheric pressure, MMHG, nice, no conversion necessary. Volume given, 1150 mLs, temperatures 35 Celsius. Solve for the dry standard conditions. Let me tabulate what we know. Total pressure given to us as 805 mmHgs. The volume is 1150 mLs. Temperature of the water, 35 Celsius. Solve for the new volume at standard conditions. Standard conditions in a like unit, 760 mmHg, standard temperature in a Kelvin unit, 273K. So here's the right side. I have a little bit of a, an adjustment yet here. I've got to take out the water pressure. So I got to subtract. Let's find on our water chart. The water chart says 35 Celsius, here's 35, and the unit we're in is found on this chart, it's NMN, bleh, MMHG, so we'll have to subtract 42.2 TOR units, 42.2 MMHGs, subtracting like units will give us this dry gas. So let's hit 805 minus 42.2, and we get 762.8. This now becomes the P1. It's the pressure of the dry gas. PV over T. Plug them in. I like to get my parentheses ready. Plugging in the numbers where I know they go. P1, pressure we just adjusted to dry it up, 762.8. That's an MMHG. Notice I'm getting very good at remembering my units. 1150 mLs, T1 is converted into 308 Kelvin units. I want to know, let's see, 760 is the standard pressure, looking for V2, there's T2. So let's see, we put a milli in, so our answer will come out in a milli as well. Let's hit it. Key sequence, start on the side without the variable. So here we have 762.8 times 1150 times 273 divided by parenthesis 760 times 308 close parenthesis equal. And we got 1023.07, so I'll say 0.1 mLs. And there's your A plus coming for your second objective.